Hello guys, today I'm going to do a video about uh, fixing uh, a set of uh, blinds that are having trouble opening and closing. If you look up here, I don't know how hard it is to see, but this is, you know, the, the main casing where the, where the blind and the hardware sit in there. That it's, it's got a rod in there that basically pulls these strings so that it lowers it up and down and opens the, the, vine, the, the, the blinds. But there's this little piece right here that just needs to be basically unsnapped and it folds up and then that piece comes, comes out. So let me do that. I can't do it with one hand because I'm not that talented. But I'll pop it off and I'll show you um, just the way it's supposed to look before it comes out. Okay, so you see it pops off from there. There's like a little clip right in there. You just raise that up and then this piece slides out. And then you just, once that other end is out, you just pull straight out there. What I forgot to mention is you may want to raise up the blind first before you do it. So that way, once you unlatch it and pull it out, you're not carrying around seven feet worth of blinds through the house when you find your surface to work on this thing. set this down here on a nice flat surface um, so that you can kind of see, I guess I should have flipped the camera before I did that. But as you can see, there is this little, um, little bracket here that holds this square rod. And when you pull the strings, it turns that wheel and they're kind of wrapped in a reverse pattern so that when you pull one side it, it uh get it all <clears throat> so the part that i ordered from amazon is here let's try to get this stuff open one-handed shit Sent me two of what looks to be the wrong goddamn part. Guess that is not what I ordered. But if it does work, then I can fix the other blind in the other room that I wasn't too worried about. But, so let me, what you'll do is there's this side piece here that pops off and you can see that there's a little, that's where it comes out from the bottom. There. And you can slide it out. This is really a pain in the ass to do one handed, so hopefully I can, Ooh. Do like this. I need like a tripod, I guess. So, when that comes out, and then so these strings obviously won't go through the deal and it doesn't come the new one doesn't come with these knobs so I'm probably gonna have to wind up cutting these off and then just tying them so that they work but I'm hoping that see how this is a little bit it's basically the same kind of design but I think that part might be different same 
Hmm. So let's see. I can always stick that in there, and then that it might work. Um, let me see if I can get it fitted. Stand by. Okay. Looks like it's it fit right in that same spot. It's it's just I think a little bit different design. Uh, so I just slid it in there. It slid right into the uh, part where the, where the rod comes through and you just gotta move it over. So what I'm gonna do at this point is, since this is still, I left it in there because if it didn't work, I didn't wanna have nothing in there. What I'm gonna do is take these strings and cut them off with probably about a foot or so string on it. That way I can pull out the old mechanism that's not working. And then once I get, get it all put back together, I can tie these knobs onto the end of those strings from the new one that didn't come with knobs. And then hopefully I can pull it uh, open and close. So let's, let me try that. Stand by again. Okay, so I cut those pieces out. And as you can see, it basically snaps right back into that spot there. And then it goes, um, you know, with, with that square um, connector piece, the rod slides right in there. And if you look at this one, so it's, it's you know, it's the same uh, basic setup there. There's the... the um, square uh, deal but when you pull this I don't think this one ended so when you pull this string this part doesn't spin so somewhere in here that there I guess there's a little gear that turns that it's broken and no worky no more so um, let me get this put back on the oops let me get this put back on the window um, and um, test it out and see if it works. And if it does, then I will put the knobs on the new strings and then I think we might be done. So let me do that. Hang tight. All right. Since I don't know if you can see me or not, but. Uh, since I got, I forgot to put that end cap piece back on, but that's just, you just snap it right back on the part that goes in here. So all I did was slide it right back into the spot. You see how there's a clip that hangs over and you just basically push up on there, make sure it closes. Now, so here's our, our new string piece here. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take this one and a little slowly, lower these blinds here. Now we test this and one way and the close and the other way and the open. Ha 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 ha. And so since these strings are pretty long, what I'll do is find a new nice kind of See how that one is really about midway. I'll tie those other strings on and then we will have a set of working blinds that if I were to replace the whole blind, it would have been roughly 60 to $70. And I would have had to have them cut and all that good stuff. And this one, I spent eight bucks on the mechanism on Amazon and it's good to go, man. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some videos like this. I'm pretty new to this YouTube deal, but seems to be the big thing. So I'm gonna try to do a few more videos like this so that there's regular guys like me that aren't mechanic geniuses, aren't carpenters, aren't, you know, anything like that, but kind of figure it out if you mess with it a little bit. Um, let me know if you, uh, if you like the video. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.